I'm just a lazy video gamer Even too lazy to make a new intro Hello Atan Video Land, it's me again, the lazy video gamer And as you can see in the back On my modern arcade one up is running Donkey Kong The original from the arcade Of course it's running with emulation but I'm not here to talk about uh, records that were broken or not broken yeah. in fact I thought for the last episode of the season from the Lazy Video Gamer show from now on I'm going on vacation and do some other things but I will be back of course so that would be now would be the best opportunity to hit the bell if you subscribe to my channel that when I uploading a new video you are notified uh, yeah back to the topic uh, this game that I want to talk about today in this very special wouldn't be possible to show you without emulation cause it was only available in the arcades and I thought it fits perfect for the season ending um, that I talking about like I did it in my very first special episode uh, who was about a certain comic book or a certain game who were based on a comic book or comic book series so this game I show you today is also based on a comic sit back relax enjoy this episode and the summer it starts all with Capcom's Street Fighter this game was only released for home consoles on the legendary PC Engine uh, and home computers but you see here now of course the arcade version who is nowadays available it was back in the day in the arcades a little success you could choose your opponents. You had Ryu and Ken as playable characters. You also had special moves. What happened after this game? Some programmers from Capcom left to SNK and created there their own version of the one-on-one -on -one fighting games you can see that very clear in the art of fighting where you also only have two characters to choose from the remaining core of Capcom in this development team were on search for ideas for a sequel and then something happened so final fight was born final fight is the legendary side scroll beat them up Captain Ford it's a good idea of one or two player playing as a team to knock down all the bad guys in a round and this game also was very popular it came with 
big sprites, cool sound, cool animations, and big level bosses. But they split up the tier once again, but in this time naturally cause Capcom was successful and they grew. And the other team? Hmm. What did they? Well, if you see that it's absolutely clear. A sequel as to Street Fighter 1. Street Fighter 2 was born as we know and love. But yeah, side scroll beat em ups were still and also very popular, and we know Capcom what they can do best making more money so and here is the game the main topic of this episode of the laser video gamer show it's Cadillacs and dinosaurs unfortunately this game as I mentioned it never got a port for the homes. This game stayed in an arcade. The reason is only speculation. Cause once, as I mentioned it, it's based on a comic. And that license Few or license taxes would be had to pay it with every release again. Also, it's yeah, pretty violent. It comes with collectible guns and a lot of blood also it's not very animal friendly so nowadays organization PETA wouldn't be lucky at this game cause the bad guys mm, making the dinosaurs angry this game also of course comes with a fantastic sound, a great playability, big sprites, big bosses and boss fights and of course the name giving Cadillacs. Will we ever get a Cadillacs and dinosaurs for home use? This question answered Rocket Science games with the Mega CD or Sega CD game to be precise Cadillacs and Dinosaurs The Second Cataclysm It wasn't produced by Capcom It's based on the same comic who was with the possibilities of the Sega CD A cool opportunity to catch the comic flair of the dystopian story and bring it to life. Very cool animated scenes introduced and interrupts between the levels. 
those scenes were very atmospheric and telling the story in a great way. When it comes to the gameplay, let me say it that way. Jump into your car and do what you have to do. Unfortunately, that was the only thing, the only content of the game. Avoid obstacles and shoot at things. The most time you did it in a jungle and only in later stages a little bit a variation was presented in the scenery but the main core of the gameplay remains the same so for everyone out there myself included it was a little bit disappointing because when I read that Cadillacs and Dinosaurs come to the Sega CD I was on fire but when I first played the game I was, of course, on the reason I knew the first game from the arcades, disappointed. If you can bite you in the game and the gameplay and this, yeah, monotonic gameplay, you will be rewarded with cool animated cutscenes but let's face it it's never what you or what I expected back when I bought the game was it for this episode of the Lazy Video Game Show I hope you enjoyed it and yeah, I said it once, I'm saying it now twice or the third time. I'm very thankful for every subscriber that I have um, on this channel and who are joining me with those little videos that I make. And yes, I said it now twice again. It's the best moment to hit this a uh, stupid little bell for notifications cause yeah as I said I'm going on vacation from YouTubing I'm not a pro I have a regular day job I have a wife and a child and they need some time too and of course I want to play some games as well so I hope You'll see me soon. Feel free to take a look at my playlists that I made from Virtua Boy to special episodes on single games. Or, as you know, I'm a big fan still, even today, of the Sega Mega CD. Have a fantastic! So rest of Sunday, a fantastic week, a fantastic time, a fantastic summer. And what should I say now that you didn't already know? The game is never over. I'm just a lazy video gamer. Even too lazy to make a new intro. L -L 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 -L